He just used a f***ing angle grinder to cut fuel line. Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Built by Blake. I'm Blake of which the builds are built today. We're actually going to be working on the 1000 horsepower GDR. No. Today is part two of the WRX video. If you haven't seen part one, go have a look at it. We did the full diff, uh, drive line, all that song and dance. So it just started and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to pre like prove that it, it would run and start uh, on the base map on the new Haltech. So on this episode, we're chucking on new Brembos, new rotors, and a whole new fuel system. So it should be pretty good. We should learn a bit in this. I've never actually terminated a speed flow flitting in my life. Dean has done his whole car on the GDR in um, like everything you could ever do. I'm pretty sure his three port boost solenoid was actually in speed flow fittings, which is the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. So yeah, this should be sick. We should get into it and, um, and do a bit more. So stick around and see how it goes. So we're back uh, another day working on the track car, work on getting the AC out, AC compressor out, um, and then just tidy up a bit of the ECU harness wiring because we know all those sensors are working now so we can make it look smick. And then go from there. Everything else is just about done. Only thing we're waiting on is rear rotors. Uh, they actually haven't showed up yet. Maybe they'll come today. We don't really know. Um, and then we're, then it's go time. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update. <laughs> the GDR still has no engine in it. That's the roof of the shed. <laughs> but seriously, the update on the Rexy, I've been working on it all day. Brembo's are on and they look dope. They look so sick. The two pieces look mental. Um, everything else has been going pretty well. Ripped out all of the AC, as you guys can see on the ground there. The AC was around here. Um, so now we can put a catch can basically right there or further down the track when you really want to turn it to 11 you can put the alternator there flip that over do a reverse mount manifold and then turn the boost all the way up if you're doing that obviously 
that's pretty serious. Everything else you can see here, battery relocated into the boot, all the sensors and stuff we got working last time. Only thing left to go right now is the fuel system, uh, which is just all of the plumbing, the speed flow fittings and stuff. So in here is, um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but obviously it's, it's gonna be somewhat neat. This will be like our cockpit panel, and that just kind of sits up there. And that's basically our diff control and kill switch and stuff like that. This is our Haltech over here. Uh, I thought it'd be pretty sick to get some little like Treflight labels made up. So it says like DC, CD control, um, kill switch and stuff like that. Just so it looks a little bit more professional. It kind of looks like we do and know what we're doing. Um, at least we can try and fool some people. <laughs> So I'm gonna chuck those on now, and then everything in here is ready to be buttoned up. So as soon as we get those rear rotors, which were meant to rock up today, but they didn't, the Brembo's are ready to go, everything's ready to go, fuel system's gonna get knocked out tomorrow for sure, and we're ready to hit the ground running. So hopefully this is the home stretch. The following Thursday. Stock fuel rails out. There's gonna be some radium ones in here now. What were the stock injectors? So 380 injectors. What did you get? 1200s. Yeah, so we've got some 1250s in a full radium fuel rail and it's going to be a parallel like system. So obviously speed flow fittings into the back of each rail and then two, 90, uh, two 180 degree bends out of that and then go back to the fuel pressure reg which is going to be mounted probably somewhere around here. Not 100% sure yet but we'll figure that out as we go. Seventy-five years later. I think this is dragging out. I don't know whether it'll be dragging out on here. We just went and spent a copious amount of money on fittings. If you've ever had anything to do with speed flow um, or speed flow fittings, you would know that these are like 40 bucks a pop. And there is this much. So it's a lot. So let's get into it. We'll run some hose, fit some terminals and see what we can do. He just used a fucking angle grinder to cut fuel line. We could have died. Damn, it looks good. <laughs> So speed flow fittings, we've just started 
have a miniature one going into an inline filter, going into a wide piece which feeds this rail. Uh, we're going to make this line that comes out of that wide piece across to this rail, goes into a 180 like that, and then comes back out of that rail, goes back across, and our fuel pressure reg is going to be here. So let's start the process of making a speed flow fitting with 200 series Teflon braided hose. That's, there's something wrong with this one because it's not turning on the front, it's turning on the back. Mm, the fitting's turning. Mm. It's caught on the inside or something to make it. Yeah, so it should, I should be able to just turn that and that fitting doesn't move until the very death. done everything sorted the engine bay actually looks like it's got a bit of value about it now nice and simple comes out of our feed line here goes through an inline filter goes down goes into our wire section goes to each fuel rail there and there goes through the fuel rail and then comes back down our return line uh, either side of the pressure reg out of the pressure reg goes back down the return line this is a fuel pressure sensor about to chuck it on for the first time and check for fuel leaks. It made good noises. Done. This is the end of the vlog, whether this car starts or not, we are done. Everything's back together. Airbox is in. That's actually quite a nice bit of kit. Dean fabbed that up. Top mount's back in. Full fuel system is in and done. Uh, we're getting fuel pressure back on our fuel pressure sensor here. Uh, you can hear the pumps priming and stuff like that. So, I mean, fuck it, you would want to, like, the workshop is a mess. There's more speed flow fitting bags here than buddy. Shane Warne would have in the middle of his peak career. We're about to turn this bad boy on. Let's try our luck. Approximately 10 hours later. That's the sound of winning, baby. Done. 
Oh, so we actually found the injectors that we got supplied came with these little bridging things between the OEM harness and the new injectors. Hold on one second, I'm just in the middle of filming an outro. They were asked about the polarity was wrong, which I have no idea how that happened, but anyway, Dean figured that out. So the car now runs, it's got all of the gear thrown at it, Brembo's are on, six speeds in, all the sensors are in, the Haltech's good, full fuel system, baby. This thing's gonna be legit, so uh, all we gotta do is get a tune now. Next episode, uh, hopefully I can be there when Dean gets it tuned. Uh, obviously work will depict whether that can happen or not, but uh, this has been a long time coming. It probably should have been more than two episodes, but it was just to two, so. This is the sickest. This thing's gonna be off its head. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, do whatever you want. This thing's gonna be off its head. See you on the next one. Bye. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew, you're too late for love. Love, 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 love